Rob, this is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness, look at the stingray. I love this place. <laughs> And this is uh, natural light that's coming in here. Yes, sunlight. They have natural seawater being pumped in. They've put fish in here and corals, and this is beautiful. I can spend all day in here just, just looking at things. Oh, I, could say, I could sit here. I could sit for hours. This is really kind of a neat place. What, what is this, and where are we? Well, this is a, a circular aquarium where the, uh, the curators have tried to recreate life out on the reef. So they brought in some fish and some corals, a couple of sponges, some soft corals. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to recreate what we saw yesterday when we were out diving, which was unbelievable. Unbelievable. And, and when you think of, of what we saw yesterday compared to what we're looking at here, there's not as much life here. There isn't. There and isn't. yet they work really hard to keep this as good as it is. There's a lot of man hours that go into this. Why do you suppose it takes so much time? Because life and the environment are a lot more complex than a lot of people realize. Yeah. So even though this place is natural sunlight and they pump in natural seawater, even despite all that work and all that money, they cannot perfect life outside in the environment. We've been spending a lot of time with rocks. We've talked to a lot of people. Uh, we've talked about that whole issue associated with uh, the strata and the destruction of water. Um, and that brings us now to a different aspect of water. But water destroying the earth, but uh, for you, there's something different about the aspect of water. What is that? Well, water is what God created everything out of. Water is the basis of life. Water is that thing that drives the entire ecology of earth. And when we go under the water and look at what's in the water, there's amazing things that, that we get to see and study and glorify God over. It seems as if, just like yesterday when we were diving, that we entered a total new world. I mean, it's a radically different world, isn't it? And very complex, very diverse. There's a lot of stuff down there. Yeah, and you don't notice it from the surface. You just see looking at an ocean, and oceans mm -hmm. are beautiful, but when you go under the ocean, everything changes. Uh -huh. There are so many different forms of life under the ocean. There's so many different interactions of life under the ocean. There's just amazing and fantastic things. You can spend your whole life in a little spot of like a coral reef mm -hmm. and never run out of things to see. Most of the diversity that God created, he put into the oceans. Mm -hmm. So when we just look at a little spot, you've got sponges, you've got stingrays and sharks, you've got corals, you have sea anemones, you have fish, you have shrimp, you have sea urchins, there are algae, and then all these things that live inside the reef that you never even get to see, but you remember hearing them? Remember all the clicking? Mm -hmm. all the, those are shrimp that live inside the reef. Huh. Rob, you're a marine biologist, so when you look at these things, you see it from a little different perspective than the average person. How does all of this complexity and the diversity that we see, how in the world does all of that happen? Well, it didn't happen by accident. It didn't happen in a stepwise sort of a fashion. This is an entire ecosystem we're seeing right here, just actually a snapshot of an ecosystem with all of his interleave layers of complexity where one animal depends upon another and one algae depends upon an animal and the sponge depends upon something else. And it's all interwoven in this unbelievably complex web that, as we're seeing again, we can't quite recreate because it's too complicated. <laughs>